Excuse my horrendous singing. Wow. Yes, yes, Sir Hell is here. No idea what to expect with this one. This is Strangers by Kenya Grace. Ooh, it's like synthwave, retrowave vibes. I don't want to pause so soon, but there's a lot to unpack there just with the intro. I think it hooks you immediately, this this beginning. We've only listened to 20 seconds. So yeah, as I said, it's quite synth wavy, and that's to do with the, the synth. You've got the, hmm, uh, what was it? The Those, hmm, ba-bum, 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 ba ba And then the bass. Do, do, do. And the beat as well, very subtle, keeps it going. And then her f her first line. Five, four, three, two, one. At that point, it's like an ending. You've resolved, and then it's ready to go into the next thing, which is interesting because now, as the listener, we're ready to carry on going. It's a bit of a weird one, but I mean, whatever. Let's just carry on. That deja vu effect with the the echoey reverb bit. That's uh, that's a good technique there to just completely eliminate all noise just before going into the the chorus. And there was also these little things. Or something. Just these little things to just add a tiny bit of something in the background. Some vocals in the background. And these aha, aha, ahas. You don't need to speak any language to be able to sing along. It's universal. So simple. I don't get how it's always the simplest things that are just the catchiest things. For me, that aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh is, is, what, is, what, is what I'll remember about that song. Such a simple bass, just four notes over and over and over. Just to quickly stop there, there's not too much musically going on here. Normally I don't touch on the lyrics as much with songs because I'm trying to to unpack all the, the musical side of stuff, just how I work, unfortunately. But this one, looking at these lyrics, I think that this might be a reason why this song resonates with so many people. It does have that kind of nostalgic effect as well, just the overall vibe of it, the reverb, the synth wavy, retro wavy stuff. But then on top of that, the lyrics probably resonate with a lot of people. They've probably experienced something similar in today's society. I know how easy it is to speak to people, to date people, whether you're just texting them or Snapchatting, Instagram, dating apps. You could be talking and then they, they could cut you off one day. So I can imagine that this song hits hard for some of her listeners. I like the little things that you had there. The beat, it's almost like a drum and bass beat, isn't it? Very quick tempo. I can almost imagine this playing at like a liquid DMB event or something. Maybe a remix of it. The guitar there, I'm liking that. Oh, now the bass. But down. Before it drops. 
I'm sensing it's gonna drop some nice harmonies there as well coming in. The song is, is done really, really well. In case you can't tell, I, I do like it. It reminds me of Clean Bandit for some reason. I think it's this 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 harmony line. What does you ever mean? How can they say that this is love? There. Excuse my horrendous singing. Interesting video, just driving around, I didn't even clock that. <laughs> That, that gets a little clap from me. Not much more to be said, really. It's it's just the kind of song where I can imagine if you if you want to go out, get some fresh air, whack on your headphones, walk down the street, and nothing's stopping you at that point. You're just fully immersed in the music. Good song. Never heard of her, Kenya Grace. She has 56.7 thousand subscribers on YouTube. Let me know in the comments if, if you know her, if she has any other songs. Similarly, comment any songs at all from any genre. I love discovering new music. As always, thank you for watching. Would appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.